Hi, my name is Patrick, and I know nothing about car care. I'm going to talk to you like it's a seminar. I'm going to talk to Talk to a, me and... A, oh, my leg's stuck. Hang on. The camera. We'll converse. It's... Welcome to a Maguire's video, and actually welcome to a very new, brand new, new series called Detailing 101. I have trusty guru Dale with me uh, to help me along the way. This series is basically going to take what is essentially my car, my E36 BMW, from scuff to buff, or some other cheesy corny sayings that you like to use. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown, or Dale and I are gonna give you a quick rundown of what the series entails. This primarily is just gonna be a very general overview of what we're gonna cover within each stage of washing, drying, cleaning, compounding, polishing, literally every stage. Um, so if you're brand new to this, like I am, because I'm an ultimate noob when it comes to all this stuff, then this should be good because I'm going to learn, you're going to learn, and Dell's going to have so much fun. He don't know what he won't know what to do with himself. And I'm going to learn something from it. Mainly, hey, mainly patience. Yeah, mainly patience, but each their own, you know. We cover a lot of very technical things um, with Maguire's with our videos, and um, when people come in day in the bay. Um, but what we find is people that apply to come to the day in the bay generally have show cars and already have a little bit of knowledge when it comes to detailing. And what we do is find out what kind of knowledge they have and what detailer they are, and then we kind of kind of hone the day in the bay around that so every time someone's in the bay it's different now with you it's starting from scratch it's a very, I know this nothing is a, this is an honest series you know we're not we're not faking this you generally <laughs> I don't know, any know nothing and this is great so I mean uh, the biggest thing for Maguire's and why I love the company so much is the education yeah and um, from January to March we run our seminar so we're gonna pretty much treat you we we'll treat you like a mini seminar, a mini cinema, cinema, series. cinema, oh, cinema seminar series. Seminar series. Seminar series. So we're going to cover the five steps to perfect paint. <laughs> what are the five steps? What do they come under? And if you if you put them here, yeah. I'll list in post. Oh, okay. Washing. Washing. Clean and prep. Polish. Protection. And then afterwards, step five, maintenance. Now I've got a couple of products out just as a inkling of what we might use later on in the cup of the series. So we're gonna start with the Wash Plus. Obviously this is a, a fantastic product which I know nothing about. Dale, <laughs> explain. So the reason we're gonna be using Wash Plus on your car is because we are starting from scratch. Okay. Now this contains polishing agents. And so what these do is give the car a real deep scrub. So okay. instead of applying it into a bucket, you can if you want to, but to get the most out of the product, you apply it directly to the wash mitt. Okay. And then scrub the surface. So it's basically taking away, if my car had any form of protection on there, which it doesn't because it's a mess, that would take that down back to the paint. Exactly right, it's exfoliating the skin, essentially. So Ooh. we're starting fresh. Obviously this is just a, a little extra fluffy, big fluffy drying towel. Mm -hmm. This is a key essential for drying the car. Anyway, so wash plus, covered, sick. The Meguiar's quick clay kit. That try and say that 10 times faster. Clay, I've heard, is one of the most important bits of a car prep. Exactly that. It's also one of the easiest. It, it was very much thought of, especially over 10 years ago, you'd pay a valet to come and clay your car. Um, there was a lot of myths that it was hard to do and it was, you know, you needed some sort of training degree to, to get it done, but it's one of the easiest steps you can make to make your car feel fantastic. Now, clay will not change how your paint looks, but it changes how it feels. Right. So, if that's your paint, yeah, it's going to remove above surface contaminants. Okay, so stuff that sat on it, sat on the paint, so tree sap, bird crap lime, yeah. essentially, you know, an iron fallout, stuff like that. Fine. Now, Towel. exactly. So anything sitting on the paint, it's going to deal with and erode and remove. Nice. So it creates a nice smooth platform for you to then talk about the subsurface defects. Perfect. Ultimate Moving compound. on to the ultimate. I hope it is. Yes. It is Moving on to the ultimate compound, and this is what you call the swell slayer. It is, it's my go-to swell remover and defect kind of remover. You know, oxidized paint, it's got the paint cleaners in there to revive tired colors as well. Okay. So we've removed the above surface contaminants. Now we're gonna be talking about below surface contaminants. Right. So these are things that have penetrated the clear coat. Okay. So clay is just gonna glide over these, it's not gonna change anything. Yeah. Now to remove a scratch and swell, you need to bring the surface area around it to the same level. Okay. To give the appearance that the swell is gone and remove it completely. Right. 
So yes, it is an abrasive, but it's the only way of removing swirls and scratches. We don't believe in filling them. Nice. And will this will this remove paint as such? Not like you are you are removing paint. You're removing but the a percentage layer of paint, paint you're removing is incredibly low. Fine. Because I think a lot of people get scared. I guess when they're compounding a car, um, they don't want to yeah. take away or burn through or anything. Like Especially that. if you're working on traditional classic paints that are single coat. Yeah. Um, so modern paints are very hard and have a clear coat on top of them. So when you're removing that, you don't see anything. Okay. Whereas traditional paints are single stage, which means you're going to get that color transfer on a pad. Yeah. That can look very scary, but it really isn't. Okay. Nice. We've taken the paint down, uh, cleared out most of those swirls. All of them. We've cleared out let's all of those swirls. Let's, let's be positive. Let's be positive. I don't. I mean, I haven't actually looked at my car and how bad the swirls are, but we're going to show you some easy, simple ways to look at, you know, your swirl marks and how it is to like kind of pinpoint them out and stuff like that. Anyway, moving on. Ultimate polish. Mm -hmm. So when a taboo subject, you might say. Um, it's it's a subject that has many variations. Okay. So if you were if someone asks you, you know, what's your idea of a polish? What do you think yep. a polish does? Without. You know, picking my brains. Uh, what do I think a polish does? Well, polish usually, like you polish your shoes to make them, sh like your school shoes to make them shiny. Mm -hmm. That's what I would. Yeah, so generally, when people come to our stand at car shows and events, they, they ask us, what is your best polish? Now, we need to find out what their version of the word polish is. Now, some yeah. people might think it's protection, some people might think it's swell removal, because it's an action, it's polishing the car. Okay. Whenever we talk about polish, we talk about gloss enhancement. Right. So we're not removing defects, we're not like changing the structure of the paint, all we're doing is enhancing gloss. Enhancing the colour to make it pop. Exactly. Go shiny. I don't know whether my car will go shiny. The the paint code, I guess, for my 36 is Madeira Violet okay. Purple. Um, it's a bit more of like a, not a dull colour, but more matty, I guess. Satin. It's not, it, yeah, it's a kind of a satin finish, mm -hmm. but it is metallic, so. So what we're gonna do, if, if you can't, if you've got a heavily metallic car and you're struggling to get that wet look gloss, now, using a product like this, if you can't get gloss, well, let's play with what it has. So let's magnify that fleck. Okay. So using the polish, it's going to really magnify that fleck and make it really sparkle. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So nice. revive, refine, protect. <gasps> Protection! How do you mean protect? So protect, using a wax to seal in the gloss. Now, if you've ever polished the car without waxing it, a few weeks later, it's going to look exactly how it looked before you polished it. So cool. you, anytime you polish a car, always wax it afterwards. Okay. Now we have many waxes, from canuba based waxes to synthetic waxes like this one. Now when we've got your car in the bay, we'll get all the waxes out and we'll talk about yeah. why we're going to use this one on the car, but we can save that for Perfect. a later video. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but a wax is going to seal in that protection. Yes, our waxes have polishing oils in them as well, so there is going to be that real enhancement sort of gloss as well. Okay. And um, there's some cases where you can just go from compound to wax, but again, when we're in the bay, look at it. Gonna try and cover literally everything where there is possible for you to understand what we're trying to do and get across, um, and really help you, the the viewer and the the avid detailers hmm. amongst yourselves to really you know can't confuse us. Yeah, yeah, to really propel your knowledge and and work out how best to keep your. Car and we're not going to be using and... any pro stuff on your car. No, no or pro consumer. stuff. This is all stuff all you can consumer. buy. Alfred's, Amazon. This is what we're gonna use. Right, the fifth stage. Maintenance. Is maintenance. So we're going to maintain that finish. Okay. We're going to look after it, whether or not you're going to car shows. So you're going to use something like the, the waterless wash and wax. Um, this is fantastic. It's it's not a detailer. It's a sprayable shampoo. Okay. It's a heavy duty cleaner. Nice. Or use something like a detailer. Now a detailer is a finishing product. So it's not a cleaning product. You can no. take away light dust marks with it and fingerprints, stuff like yep. that. But it's a finishing product. So okay. it's enhancing gloss and protecting paint. Nice. in between washes. Now nice I personally use this one as a drying edge, so when I've rinsed the car off and I've removed all the soap from the surface, yes. I spray the whole car with the Ultimate Detailer, then dry it down with my super dry towel. Right. And what that's doing is leaving a streak-free finish and also protecting the paint, so I'm gonna get that sharp, intense water beading. Nice, okay. This is pretty, th that's pretty much it, just for an overview of the five kind of stages of car care. We even got started on wheels and tires yet. That we haven't that's even got started. That, that's a set video. video by itself that will be coming within the series. I hope you have enjoyed this small little kind of introduction to the video. Mm. Um, thank you for joining me, Dale. It's going to be good. Um, I'm one. I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be I great. I think it's going to be really cool for you guys to see the difference in what my car is now, <laughs> filthy, and uh, what it will be at the end of it because it's pretty cool. I like my car. 
Mm. I'm a car enthusiast, and that's all I have to say on the matter. And you know, it, it's it's not the big things you'll learn, it's all the little hints and tips um, along yeah. the way. So if, if you get anything from this series, yeah. you know, anyone that's watching this, you know, you, you might already know about the shampoo or the compound, but Correct. you might not know how much wax to apply to pad before hand applying it. So it's the little hints and tips. Yeah, we're gonna go into big detail on how to literally do everything there is possible for a beginner, because that's what I am, on how to detail your car. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you are like, shared, and subscribe to the Maguire's UK YouTube channel, and stay tuned for what is gonna be an exciting series. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything else you need to know, you can always contact us via website or via email, or you can give us a call and speak to, probably not me because I'm not in the know yet, but you will be able to speak to me eventually, or you can speak to this man here, or Tom who is not here. Anyway. Sweet. That was good. <laughs>then you should definitely go and check out Tom vs. Dale series as well. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty, pretty hot stuff right now. It's heating up. <laughs> Is it hot stuff? Oh, it's hot stuff right now. <laughs> Click clay. Quick clay kit. It's not um, that. Huh? Start that one again. Yeah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> Quick clay. <laughs> Take your time, Patrick. Take your time. Oh, no rush. Yeah, well, I've yeah. done all my emails. Guys, you cute. You cute. The Maguire's. <laughs>